LCISD Science Grade 6, Unit 6, 2016-2017. Number one, which action in the science laboratory transforms chemical energy to heat energy? A, using a hot plate to boil a beaker of water. Two, using a candle to melt sulfur in a test tube. C, growing potted plants near a window. D, flipping the light switch to turn on classroom lights. Number two, the law of conservation of energy states that F, energy is totally lost. G, more energy is produced. H, energy changes to matter like chemicals. J, energy changes form but is not lost or gained. Number three, flashlight battery to light energy is as campfire is to A, thermal energy, B, electrical energy, C, chemical energy, D, nuclear energy. Use the graph for the following five questions. Jacob designed an experiment to see how the color of a surface affects the amount of heat absorbed. He filled four different colored beakers with 20 degrees Celsius water and exposed them to a heat source for 60 minutes. The graph below illustrates Jacob's data at the end of the experiment. Temperature, clear, white, gray, black. Question number four. What is the final temperature of the water in the white jar? F, 28 degrees Celsius, G, 31 degrees Celsius, H, 33 degrees Celsius, J, 34 degrees Celsius. Number five, which step should be Jacob's last step in his experiment? A, record the temperature of the water at 15 minute intervals. B, place the beaker 10 centimeters from the heat lamp. C, Measure the initial temperature of the water. D. Cover one beaker with white paper, one beaker with gray paper, and one beaker with black paper, and leave one jar uncovered. Number six. Why did Jacob include a clear beaker in the experiment? F. He wanted to be able to observe all changes to the water. G. There wasn't another color available to test. H. The clear beaker is the control. The results can be compared to it. J. He knew the heat lamp would change the water temperature. Number seven. What is the best title for Jacob's graph? A. Colors matter. B. How the color of a container affects energy transfer. C. The four jar experiment. D. Why does water heat up in different types of containers? Number eight. What should be the label of the x-axis? F. Increase. G. Energy transfer. H. Color of jars. J. Comparison. Number nine. Which of the following energy transformations is most similar to an electric pencil sharpener. A. Stopwatch. B. A calculator. C. A Bunsen burner. And D. An electric fan. Number 10. Astrid had a piece of lab equipment that was made of metal wire. She placed a piece of wax at point A and point B. She held the rubber handle and placed the tip of the wire above the flame of a Bunsen burner. Which piece of wax will melt first? F, A, G, B, H, neither will melt since the flame will not reach either A or B. J, 
Both will melt close to the same time. Number 11. What diagram most accurately shows the movement of thermal energy? Number 12. Luis is investigating how heat moves. He heated a nail to 100 degrees Celsius and placed it into 250 milliliters of 20 degrees Celsius water. What is most likely what is the most likely temperature of the water and the nail in 10 minutes? F, the water is 10 degrees Celsius and the nail is 110 degrees Celsius. G, the water is 40 degrees Celsius and the nail is 40 degrees Celsius. The water is 70 degrees Celsius and the nail is 40 degrees Celsius. J, the water is 100 degrees Celsius and the nail is 70 degrees Celsius. 13. Jacob is standing with his back facing a campfire. He notices that his back is much warmer than his chest. He knows that heat energy is being transferred from the fire and that this method of energy transfer can happen even if no air is present. This method of energy transfer is A. Convection B. Condensation C. Conduction D. Radiation Number 14. Bobby is drinking a cup of hot chocolate as he sets by a campfire on a chilly evening. He knows that the cup of hot chocolate transfers thermal energy to the surrounding air. The heated air over his cup of hot chocolate expands and rises and is replaced by cooler, denser air. This method of energy transfer is F. Convection G. Condensation H. Conduction J. Radiation. Number 15. Two friends decide to go to the park and watch a movie on a computer. The computer runs on battery power. What energy conversion is occurring from the battery to the light being given off by the computer? A. Chemical electrical light. B. Chemical electrical sound. C. Electrical light sound. D. Electrical chemical light. 16. An ice cube is placed onto a hot pan that is setting on the countertop. How will the heat energy move? F. The coldest will move from the pan to the ice cube. G. The coldest will move from the ice cube to the pan. H. The heat will travel from the pan to the ice cube. J. The heat will move from the ice cube to the pan. Number 17. Determine the density of GCM3 of a mineral that has a volume of 3.8 centimeters cubed and a mass of 22.4 grams. Record your answer and fill in the bubbles on your answer document. Be sure to use the correct place value. 18. Which of the following is formed when two elements combine chemically? F, an atom. G, a compound. H, an electron. J, a mixture. 19. Which is a property of most non-metallic solids? A, semi-conductivity. B, high conductivity. C, brittleness. D. Malleability. Number 20. A teacher rubbed a match against a piece of sandpaper. The match started to burn. Which statement best describes the energy changes that occurred? F. The chemical energy stored in the match changed to thermal energy and light energy. G. The thermal energy stored in the match changed to light energy and chemical energy. H. The light energy and thermal energy stored in the match changed to mechanical energy. J. The light energy and thermal energy stored in the match changed to chemical energy. Number 21. The main parts of a working clothes dryer are shown in the diagram. You have a heat duct and the element here. You have a motor here. 
and you have a dryer drum here. This appliance dries clothes primarily by converting A, electrical energy to heat and mechanical energy, B, mechanical energy to heat and electrical energy, C, electrical energy to heat and light, D, mechanical energy to heat and vaporization. Number 22, when a lion eats a zebra and then uses the energy from the zebra to run, the lion's body converts F, chemical energy to mechanical energy, G, electrical energy to chemical energy, H, chemical em energy to light energy, J, mechanical ener energy to chemical energy. 23. The diagram below shows a hot air balloon rising. Propane gas tanks are seen at the bottom of the balloon. Here's the flame and the propane gas. What energy transformations occur when propane gas is used to lift the balloon? A. Mechanical to light to chemical. B. Chemical to mechanical to thermal, C, thermal to chemical to light, D, chemical to thermal to mechanical. 24. Electrical energy is being produced by transformation from nuclear energy and added to our nation's power grid. Some of the electrical power you use may come from nuclear energy. Use the flow map to see how energy is transformed from nuclear to electrical. Control rods, reactor core, hot water, containment structure, condenser, water, pressurized reactor, steam generator, steam, turbine, generator, electricity. Identify the energy transformations of each step. Number one, radioactive atoms are split in a nuclear reactor to heat water to steam, nuclear energy to thermal energy. Two, the steam is blown across the blades of the turbine, causing it to spin, blank to blank. Three, the spinning turbine turns an electrical generator, blank to blank. Four, Electrical energy from the generator is sent across power lines to do such things as turn on lights, blank to blank. This is the end of the test for the regular 6th grade science unit 6 test. Accelerated students, please complete questions 25 and 26. LCISD science grade 6 unit 6 accelerated 2016 and 17. This is questions 25 and 26. Question 25 for accelerated students only. A flat solar cell is shown above. Energy is transformed all the way to lighting a bulb. Explain how solar energy is converted into electrical energy. Number 26. Identify a tool that people use to transform chemical energy into heat energy. Use what you know about types of energy to justify why your answer is correct.